Hey guys, we're at the Milwaukee Media Event where we're looking at job site cleaning solutions and this is part of the air tip accessories for their vacuum system or any vacuum system because they um, they fit multiple size vacuums, shop vacs, their vacuum, uh, other vacuums. Like an LB box or something like this, slide it in, make sure we have a good seal. There it is. That was fast. Okay, so I've already uh, released a video on Milwaukee's cordless wet dry vacuum, and um, I had mentioned in the video that they're coming out with some really cool accessories for the wet dry vacuum, for a lot of vacuums actually. So. Milwaukee is releasing what they call air tip accessories or end of hose solutions. So air tip is the brand name they're using for it. And they just released 19 innovative air tip vacuum accessories. And these accessories are fully compatible with the variety of other vacuum brands. And um, they basically, they basically looked at uh, uh, some pretty old dated accessory designs that we've been using for years as well as looking at some of the end user field modifications uh, that, that some of us are using out in the field. And they came up with 19 innovative, problem solving, end of hose solutions. The one thing I wanna mention is that all of these vacuum accessories, all of these air tip accessories have a nozzle that is compatible with other wet dry vacuum brands. And um, it'll fit anything from an inch and a quarter to an inch and seven eighths to two and a half inch diameter hoses. Uh, look, let's let's look at some of the more notable ones. I didn't cover all 19 in this video, um, but let's look at the notable ones. They're coming out with an M12. It's a little cordless powerhead air tip utility nozzle for $79.99. It's powered by an M M12 battery, and the power brush, the roller brush, agitates and works great for removing dirt from carpet. Uh, great for carpet cle carpet cleaning applications. Say that three times fast. Uh, there's an LED light on it, definitely increased visibility and shows the dirt on the rug, which is nice. Um, and that roller, that brush roller, can be removed toolless for cleaning. There is an air tip dust collector. Uh, that's going to be $49.99, and that has a rubber seal on it. You've seen this with SDS drills and stuff. Um, it uses the suction of the vacuum to attach to the wall, suction cup, and uh, sealing all the substrate for that matter. And it's great for collecting falling dust or dust coming out when you're cutting or drilling. I can absolutely see myself using this one as it frees up a hand. It's just, it's good for efficiency. And look, in the past, I've done everything from using a, a cardboard box, taping folded paper, holding the vac nozzle under my arm, you know, someone else holding it. This tool has a funnel design and the vacuum suction draws it in and the accessory is just gonna make your cleanup easier. Makes sense to me, money well spent. Then is the air tip magnetic utility nozzle, $29.99. This nozzle is one of those, why didn't I think of that? Well, maybe I did. I'll have to show you my, my thing in the shop here. Uh, it features a magnetic strip above the nozzle to pick up metal debris, screws, washers, chips, shavings, whatever, that doesn't often get picked up by vacuums. I know I have to pick up a lot of stuff in my shop. And when it does get into your vacuum, it could and has sometimes damaged your bags or filters. There's an air tip cross brush tool, $17.99. This cross brush tool uh, has kind of like a crisscross bristle design with more open suction space for suction. And it was designed with the uh, um, cross brush bristles to basically prevent clogging and provide easier cleanup when compare it to say a traditional dust brush that we have on our, on our vacuums. Um, my wet, I don't know if my wet vac came with a, a brush, but while the brush, the cross brush absolutely works and it works better than a traditional brush, I don't see this myself using this. And I'll tell you why. I don't use a brush nozzle on heavy debris or sawdust for that matter. I only take out my brush nozzle on punch list at end of job cleanup stuff when I'm cleaning fine dust out of cabinets, cleaning off uh, dust off window mullions, top of trim, HVAC grills, or even base moldings. So maybe you disagree and, and you can see or you clean differently than I do, but I, I don't use my brush for, for nasty stuff and thick stuff. Um, they have an air tip low profile pivoting brush, uh, $29.99. And this pivoting brush 
and a low profile head is easily adjusted into position and allows for multiple orientations, right? So cleaning overhead, waist level, low like toe kick areas, under appliances, things like that. Uh, even in the base cabinets, you know, with the door open so you don't have to bend over. After using this tool though, I think Milwaukee might need or should consider maybe making that head a little longer so it can reach longer under appliances, but also reach the back of 12 inch deep wall cabinets. Um, okay, uh, what was the other one I liked? The, uh, oh, the rotate. The air tip is also, they have a rotating corner brush tool, 1999, and I like this a lot. And I can see myself using this when finishing a cabinet, kitchen cabinet install and vacuuming out the cabinets. The rotating brush on this easily fit, it's shaped, it's spade shaped, and it easily goes into corners. And that spade shaped tip head has kind of like these agitating brushes, these these brushes that basically you can remove stubborn debris that's in corners. It works great, it rotates, you can move and rotate the head while pushing or pulling it. Really cool tool. Um, another one was the uh, Air Tip 3-in-1 crevice and brush tool, $17.99. You can't beat that price. I like, I don't spend that much in Starbucks, I like multiple use tools. And the 3-in-1 crevice tool just fits this bill. It's got a reversible brush head on it, a brush sleeve on it and the overall tool length just gives you a ton of reach options so this reversible sleeve with the brushes has two two sides a long soft bristle side for say delicate cleaning and i i, I don't know uh moldings or, or uh, grills and then a shorter stiffer side for more agitation or you know aggressive cleaning you can easily just slide this to the tip of the tool for a quick use slide it back for storage or remove it if you know you need to get into a tighter, deeper area and you want to use the whole length of the crevice tool. Really good design. Um, Airtip also has a conduit line puller kit for $79. Now, okay, all jokes aside, I like this. Uh, it's clearly designed for electricians to seal multiple conduit um, sizes for st strong, basically line pulling, right? So this conduit pull line kit includes three different tool heads, a flexible design kit on a half inch to one inch conduit, and that gives you that range. There's another flexible design for use for one and a quarter to one and a half inch conduit. And then there's a rigid conduit tip for two inch to four inch. I can't wait to show this to my electrician. He's gonna freak out. Um, the rubber cones on these things seal the, and, and create a strong fitment, right? Seal to the pipes. And uh, you just tie a, a plastic bag to the other end. You suck it right through the pipe. The flexible design on the small, small conduit tips they basically allow you to get into uh, boxes and panels and stuff and you can twist and get it in there. Really good idea. Um, there's also another, uh, four, uh, there's a four-in-one right angle cleaning tool and that's $24.99. The four-in-one accessory has four different interchangeable tips for more cleaning. It's got a right angle to it. Uh, there was a short angle or a short crevice tool. There was a, a bottom opening brushed kind of uh, tip and some long uh, crevice type tips. I wasn't really impressed with this accessory as I, f I really felt that I could accomplish most of that reach with some of the other tools and air tip uh, accessories that they supply. Um, I also see myself losing those tips. So, uh, all right, moving on, let's talk about the flexible long reach crevice tool. Um, this is great for automotive chairs and stuff, but 1999, here's another I wish I thought of tool. The flexible long reach crevice tool is, um, it's just a winner in my book. I loved this one. About, I don't know, maybe five inches towards the end has this like flexible rubber shaft design and you can bend it along while you're holding the crevice tool and you can get it at a right angle. You can sneak it into things. Difficult, awkward cleaning situations. This thing's on it. Um, the long crevice tool has it, um, It's like I said, it's got that flexible shaft, but I think it's like 16 inches in length. It's really nice. And this tool is going to find its way into my vacuum box. It's, it's just, I think every vacuum should have one of these. They also, AirTip is also, they have a um, pivoting extension wand for $24.99. And this accessory has um, a pivoting joint. You can pivot to 90 degrees and different angles. And it's great for reaching overhead or below. And the lock joint locks into place once you set it. And it just gives you additional reach, right? So you can attach a an inch and a quarter vacuum accessory on the end of this extension wand, a crevice tool, a brush. And I can see some users wanting this around um, and putting it to good use as it really does give you some really good reach options. Okay, speaking of 
long reach. Let's talk about the long reach micro hose kit or set, $39.99. Once again, uh, another wind from Milwaukee, and I see this one being used by all the trades in so many ways. The kit comes with five interchangeable hose lengths and diameters, and that's just gonna get you into some really hard to reach spaces. Deep grooves, channels, just places that you just can't get clean. Um, you can install a different hose tube on, your, on the vacuum based on, on your cleaning needs, and it's just a quick quarter turn. It's easy. So the kit itself includes, um, let's see if I remember this, a 5 8 inch by 2 foot flexible hose, a 3 8 by 2 foot semi-rigid tube, a uh, half inch by 1 foot flexible hose, a 3 8 and a quarter inch by 1 foot flexible hose, both 1 feet. Uh, and a storage, like a zippered storage bag case. Pretty nice um, and really innovative. Uh, there is also air tip two-in-one utility brush. That's $19.99. And this two-in-one, um, it's basically a crevice tool and it has a sliding brush similar to the other brush we looked at. And with a push of a button, this thing either slides down to use it, off so you can rotate the brushes, um, up to lock it, uh, or even off so you can use the crevice tool. So I, I just, I like how it slides up and locks for storage. It's really a nice feature. Um, there is a three-in-one crevice and, crevice and brush tool, $17.99. Um, this three-in-one tool is nice. I like this one. I liked it more than the others. It's got the reversible brush that we talked about, and the overall tool length makes just accessing and cleaning different and deep access locations easy, right? So the reversible brush, again, like the other one, has two slides um two sides a uh, soft longer bristles and um for that delicate cleaning and the short uh stiff bristles for more agitation and like the two-in-one tool the brush slides up down locks you can pull it off you can do whatever you want so look guys overall i was totally impressed with the air tip innovation um and and they've just basically updated these accessories some of these things have been dated we've been using them for years I'm thinking that many of the air tip accessories are going to help me out and you just clean faster, get into harder reach places, be more efficient, and just overall upgrade our job site cleaning performance. Anyway, guys, this is it. Thank you. I wanted to give you an insight on these air tip tools. I'm Rob Roblard. We'll see you next time. Take care. Please consider supporting this channel. Like the video, leave a comment, but more importantly, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you.